Especially if they've been on the street, they're very immediate, they're very uh, impatient, they want everything now. So in the waiting room, I make it easier for them. There are, there are magazines to read, there are books to read, and then I get them and bring them into my room where I tell them what the checkup is, and they agree to the checkup. And giving them the, the power, you know, to, to be in charge and to tell the adult how it's going. bunch of questions that only you know and they have to do with your life and your health and then I'm going to look at you completely and if I find anything I'll tell you on the spot. Depois de pesar você vai sentar nessa mesa. Aí eu vou ver seu pulso, sua pressão, olhar no ouvido, olhar no nariz, olhar na boca, escutar seu coração. Se eu encontrar qualquer coisa eu te falo, ok? Porque essa hoje é sua, não é? strategy on the street and then we find out about this person this child his capacity to do these things that normally an adult does the shelter and food and, and bath and clothes and so on and so forth after that we go into school have you ever been to school are you in school at the moment can you read and write uh, and then then I get into uh, do you smoke and then ease into what drugs have you used or how old were you the first time you used a drug and it's very important that you do, I never say, do you use drugs? That's judgmental, that's accusative, that's not likely to get me an honest answer. But I start straight away from, how old were you the first time you used a drug? And if they've used drugs, then that puts them at ease. And they'll usually say, oh, I was 10 or 11 or 12, and the first drug was this or that. This idea of, of ask, answer, reflect, and react, all the way through the question. Como você um mês de idade? Seu pai separou da sua mãe. Então você nunca cresceu com ele em casa. So finish the whole physical examination and then make the order for their lab tests and off they go in the taxi to, to the laboratory where they do their tests. I make a prescription and they take it to the government health post and that's the climb that because that's their citizenship citizenship is using the government health post with me they learned that they could come to me not just when they're sick uh, not just when they've, they've been knifed or stabbed or something drastic what about if you've got a sore throat or a fever or you're vomiting you know that's also something you can go for and if it weren't for clinica more these kids would only go to the emergency room when they were shot or stabbed or fell off the back of the bus. But now they learn Clinica more. This lady listens to us, she talks to us, and there are other things that we can go to her for that. So I really think that we changed the whole attitude of these children toward themselves, their bodies, and their health. And that's why I say we redefine the mission of Clinica more education for life through health.